Well, welcome to another Mr. Q after school math video. That's the best kind, after school math videos. Oh, that doesn't look good. Let's fix that. Much better. Well, this is a Mr. Q after school math video. What's today's topic? Today's topic is solving simple equations. using manipulatives. That's it. Solving simple equations using manipulatives. So, what do we need? We need some manipulatives and maybe some of those. So let's put all this together and see how we're going to do this. First of all, we need an equal sign. That's what these are. These are high-tech equal signs. Equal. Whatever's here equals there. So that equals that. That does not equal that. So let's assign some values to things. This is a term. This is a variable term. This is a term. This is a number term. We need to put that off to the side here and just make some rules. Let's get move our equal sign out of the way and use our handy dandy uh, sharpie here. This is equal to positive x. This is equal to negative x. This is a positive one. Oh, forgot the equal sign. And this is a negative one. So white positive, red negative. So let's start solving some things. There's our equal sign and we'll get our handy dandy packet of problems to solve. Start with that one. 2x minus 3 equals 5. So we need 2x's. 1, 2. 2x's. 3 negatives. 1, 2, 3. And those are positives. That's these. Oops. Equals 5. Positive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Before we start, there's no subtraction, only adding. We only add things and these two together, zero. These two together, zero. The goal is to get all the numbers on this side and all the variables on that side. We can't pull anything off, but we can add things. We can zero things out. So, but whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So we're going to add these. A zero. Then I'm going to look again. It's got to go. One zero. There we go. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. Zero. Look, it's got to go. Now we got 2x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now we have to divide. How do we divide? We take everything like this, and then we go one for you, 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 one for you. Evenly distributed? Let's hope so. One, two, three, four, and over here, one, two, three, four. So in this case, x equals four. How do we know? Let's double check. Let's do it the math way. We add 3 to both sides. We add 3 to both sides. Now we have 
That you can't read that. Add three, add three. We now have two x. This zeros out equals eight. Then we divide by two. Divide both sides by two. X equals four. Look, x equals four. All right, let's try another one. This time, let's put these up a little higher, and we'll do the steps like this in conjunction with this. Our next one will be 4x plus 2 equals 14. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. So let's do this. So we have positives, four of them. One, two, three, four. Two positives, one, two. And then we have 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ooh, you can't see them all, but they're there. There, that's 14. Can you see them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. Got to go. So how do we get rid of those? We only add things and cause things to turn into zero. These are zeroed out. So let's add that. So I'm going to add a negative 1. So I'm going to introduce a negative 1. And whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. So now I have 4x. plus 1 equals 13. Hmm. So, still have that guy there. So, this guy will make him go away. But whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So, here we go. So, let's write it down. I introduced a negative 1 and a negative 1. I'm going to run out of room. 4x equals 12. Let's move this up here. 4x equals 12. Let's see if that's right. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we have to divide. Divide by 4, divide by 4. So divide by 4 looks like this. I spread it out a little bit. And then I'm going to take my bundle over here. And one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. Get the rest of them. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. One for you, one for you, you, you. Looks like we're even distributed. This 4 over 4 is 1, or x. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Let me see. Sure enough. x equals 3. Double check. Yep, there's 3 there. And there's 3 over there. And this one, 1, 2, 3. It has 3, 2. So x equals 3. 4x plus 2 equals 14. x equals 3. Next one. Whoa, negative 2x. Negative 2x minus 5. There's a lot of red over here. 3, 4, 5. And then 3 over there. We're getting a little piece of scratch paper so we can write underneath this one. So 2x minus 5, negative x. I want a positive x. It's going to be a problem. So let's redo this one so it's easier to see. Negative 2x minus 5 is equal to 3. So whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. I don't want negative x's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to both sides. These go away. This one stays. So I introduce a positive x to both sides. So now I have 
negative x minus 5 equals x plus 3. This one is, what's not going to work? It's not going to work. Why or will it? Who knows? Got to go. I don't want a negative x. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. So we introduce a positive x here and one over here. This is a 0, so we don't write it. Negative 5. There's our 0. These can go away. We got two x's. Sure do. Equals 3 or plus 3. Now these three have got to go. We can only add things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it at one shot. One, two, three. Oh, forgot. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So I added three. Negative three. And negative three. So these will zero out. So all I have left on this side is two x. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure enough, negative eight. Now I divide. Divide by 2, divide by 2. I should have negative 4 is equal to x. Let's see if I'm right. So I take all of these. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. One for you, one for you. And there. How much is in each pile? 1, 2, 3, 4. They're red, so that's negative 4. 1, 2, 3, Four. So, x equals negative 4. That's it. It's pretty simple. It's just a matter of moving things around. If you think of only adding, and the subtraction is actually the introduction of a negative term, it makes things a little easier because all we're doing is just moving things around. This one I'm not going to write out, but we're going to set it up. 3x, that's 3x's, 4 negatives, 1, 2, 3, 4, two more positives, and on this side an x, three negatives, one, two, three, and eleven positives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So the first thing we're going to do here is combine like terms. So this would actually look something like this, they're separated. But combining like terms, these are the same. So now we have 5x4 here, same thing. We're going to eliminate the negative 3s. There's a 0 right here. There's a 0 right there. And there's a 0. So we take these out. So this leaves us the simple 5x plus 4, or 5x minus 4, is equal to x plus 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, we want all the variable terms on one side, all the numbers on the other. There's a lot of them here. So we'll leave those there. We'll get rid of that guy, but we can't just pop them off. we got to add things. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. I'm going to add that. This zeroes that out. This zeroes that out. So now we have 4x minus 4 is equal to... 8. So we'll zero these out. I'm going to do it one at a time. Add, zero, gone. Add, zero, gone. Add, zero, gone. Add, zero, gone. So now I have 4x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12. Now, I could just, we're just going to distribute them out. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to do it in groups of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1 for you, 1 for you, 1 for you, 1 for you. And look, there's 4 left. So 1 for you, 1 for you, you, you. So this one, x equals 3, x equals 3, x equals 3, 
x equals 3. So it works out. So for this one, x equals 3. Hope that helps.